My B5S4 is a great project, and we've put a ton of work into this thing. Perfect. tried my hardest to make consistent progress on this car ever since I bought it. A few weeks ago, however, this project was dealt a severe blow, literally and figuratively. A 16-year-old driver pulled out and hit my car while I was on an arterial. She scraped up both driver's side doors pretty bad and severely curb rashed my wheel. Thankfully, she admitted fault and her insurance is paying to fix the wheel and both of the doors. In the last S4 episode, I dropped this car off at the auto body place. They've had it for a while now, but this week that all changes. I just got off the phone with the auto body store and in a stroke of luck, allegedly the S4 is already repaired. They say it turned out really good. I am super stoked to see what they define as really good. As much as I love the Chevy Cruze, I'm very excited to get the S4 back. So let's go get it. I'm never gonna get over how quiet it is. And that's honestly cause we're returning the car. I'm super excited to get this car back and see what their repairs look like. However, there is something I'm a little bit nervous about. They did more research after their initial quote and found out that due to limited supply, they would not be able to actually replace the bumper or the fender for the car. So all they're going to be fixing is both of the doors and the rear wheel. I offered to pay some additional money on top of their quote to get the rest of the car painted. However, they said it's against their policy to extend a car's stay for that kind of a reason. Allegedly, they have an incredibly long wait list for cars cosmetic improvements, and crash cars need to have a quick turnaround. I guess that makes sense, but it's still frustrating. They'd absolutely be willing to paint the rest of the car and get it looking pretty, but it would have to come back as an additional appointment. In other words, something that wasn't tied to their insurance. Their insurance picked the place, and at the end of the day, they're paying to fix it, so I can't really complain too much. I guess I'm just a little worried that the repair is going to stand out so much that I'm compelled to spend the next few weeks transforming the way this car looks on the outside. Though, I guess we're things have happened. I couldn't even describe how excited I was to finally have my car back and get rid of this wonderful Chevy Cruze. Chevy Cruze, you will always be remembered for your incredibly, ridiculously good gas mileage, the fact you always start right up, and your working air conditioning. But at the end of the day, no matter how much work my cars need, I would never trade them for a Chevy Cruze. <laughs> This is my first glance at the repairs as I got out of the car, and so far, I'm really impressed. I was only able to look at it for a little bit here, because I actually needed to go fill out some paperwork and get the car back. We'll look at it more in detail when we get it home. Now that the car is back home, let's take a closer look at these repairs. Some of the longtime followers of my channel may remember that this car actually had a lot of peeling clear coat from when I bought it. It was the worst on both of the front fenders and the hood. I didn't feel like looking at peeling clear coat all day, and I knew this project was going to be with me for the long haul, so I took the opportunity to sand that down and respray it myself. This made it look a lot better, but I still had a lot of room for improvement. When I initially did it, the doors also weren't in that great of a paint condition, so it blended in. This car is in an interesting situation now. Part of the car looks a lot nicer than the rest of it. Obviously, the two doors that they sprayed along with the new wheel look really fantastic, but in my opinion, it looks a little weird for the rear half of your car to look notably better than the front half of your car. Both of my fenders, my front bumper, and my hood are not in great condition, and they really stick out on this car. I'm in no rush with this project, and there's a lot of things that I want to do to this car, but I need to keep the whole journey in mind when I decide what to do next. I want to make this car look cosmetically incredible, but I need to do that in stages because there are more important things to worry about. Namely, I'm in the process of sourcing and putting together a bigger turbo kit for this car. I'm currently playing with fire by having my car tuned on E85 with the stock KO3, so it's only a matter of time before I need them, and having those already is a lot of added security. So unfortunately, I don't think a full respray is the most important next step for this car. There's a really good chance that I will paint the car some day, but for now, I don't know if that makes the most sense financially. There are, however, other options. Over the course of the past year, I've been playing around with vinyl wrapping. I've tried to give myself as much practice as possible in the hopes that someday I could fulfill a lifelong dream and try to wrap an entire car. Since our TT suspension is mostly on hold until we get the suspension tuned, our channel needs another long-term project. Over the course of the next few episodes, that project is going to be to cosmetically transform the S4. We're gonna put as much focus into this as we did on the 
TT suspension upgrades, and we're gonna touch every aspect of the car that needs it. I have aftermarket headlights and taillights for the car. I've got a custom-made aero kit on the way, and the piece de resistance of this entire build is we are going to be wrapping the entire car. Depending on how I feel, we may even splurge and get a carbon fiber hood. It's gonna be absolutely insane when it's all done. Why don't we get started? We are leaving no stone unturned for this project, so we're gonna start with something small but very important. The adhesive on this car's rain cowl is completely gone, and consequently it's currently being held on with flex tape. While this is shockingly functional, it is absolutely hideous, so we're gonna try to come up with a better way to fix this. Unfortunately, I've scoured the internet and I can't actually find a replacement cowl for this car. I think this is just a part they don't make anymore, and I haven't found an aftermarket replacement yet. So we're gonna try another temporary fix that looks just a little bit better. That tape that was on there did its job honestly perfectly, however it was not placed there with a lot of care. I'm going to reuse that idea, but I'm going to improve upon the application. At the same time, I'm also going to add some trim restorer to this piece so that I bring back some of the true black. I have to run and buy the right type of tape to test this out, but for now I'm using electrical tape to mock up how I want to use the tape in the future. I'm going to keep the tape as thin as possible so that it mimics what the sealant used to look like. Looking at the car like this brings me into the next thing we're going to work on, the hood. When I bought this car, this hood was pretty much destroyed. There are dents, gashes, scratches, loss of clear coat, and at one point it was down to the bare metal from what looked like melting. Not really sure what caused that. In other words, we need to fix this. My initial attempt at respraying this was leagues better than the car looked when I bought it, however we are trying to level up this car's cosmetics. So we're going to try a few things here. I'm really toying with the idea of buying a carbon fiber hood. Carbon hoods can look incredible, but in my opinion that is heavily dependent on how they contrast with the color they're paired with. Before investing all that money, I'm going to mimic that contrast by wrapping the hood black. That'll give me a really good idea of the color contrast, and it's free for me to do since I already have the materials. Not only that, but it's an improvement over the blue that's there currently since it was not applied very well. Before I actually start wrapping the hood, however, I'm going to sand out all the blemishes on the hood to make sure that it is as smooth as it possibly can be. Carbon fiber hoods are extremely pricey for what they are, so the black may be a great way to tie myself over. Plus, it's going to match the roof, the spoiler, and a bunch of other fun goodies that I have on the way for the car, which I'll talk about later. After wiping down the hood with isopropyl alcohol, I went ahead and started wrapping. I'm keeping the color we chose for the car secret until we actually start that part of the wrap. It is not a common color, and I'm super stoked on it. It's going to be my first time wrapping an entire car, so I'm sure it's not going to be perfect, but it is going to be an incredibly fun learning experience. And I am excited to try it over and over and over again if I have to, to get it to the point where I think it looks good. If you've watched my channel for a while now, you probably have gathered that I absolutely love learning new skills. And over the next few weeks, you'll see me push myself a lot to make this car truly something special. This car has been a dream car of mine for as long as I can remember, so I am incredibly excited to see where it ends up. Along this bigger project, if you have any suggestions for cosmetic parts you think I should add for the car, definitely take the time to let me know in the comments. I want this build to be as interactive as possible. So if you think we need something like carbon fiber mirror caps, we can even get those. Even though I'm just using the gloss black on the hood to get an idea of the contrast that the carbon fiber is going to provide, I think it turned out pretty great. It matches a lot of other parts of the car, such as the plate filler, the roof, and the spoiler. So I actually kind of really dig it. Of course, we're not going to truly know how it's going to look until we get the rest of the car wrapped the new color. Even though this episode is a little shorter than normal, it sets us up perfectly for the next stage of both this channel and this S4 build specifically. We are going to learn so much in the process, and the car is going to be so cool once everything is all said and done. I've got my work cut out for me, and I hope you're as excited as I am. Thank you so very much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. If you enjoyed the video, learned something, or want to see more and support me, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more. Those are great ways to help me and my channel out. I'm so excited to hear what you guys think about my plans. It's time for me to get started. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.